Hey guys, what's up? It's Jenna and this week on Living the Adventure is Random Week. So for my random video, I decided to do a Disneyland secrets and hacks and tips all about Disneyland. So the first tip is that if you're going to Disneyland for a special occasion, you can go to the city hall and ask for a pin and it's completely free. The next tip is download the Disneyland app. It helped me so much when I was in Disneyland. It tells you where the characters are, it tells you the wait time for the lines, and it shows you a map of the whole thing, and it kind of has like a GPS, so it shows you where you're so going. So if you touch the apple in front of Snow White's Scary Adventures, um, you'll be greeted with loud thunder i don't know that's just kind of like a secret i guess tip is that you can bring in outside food um in the park so it saves you a lot of money because i know a lot of places are pretty expensive in disneyland so yeah it's good to bring your own snacks just for like a refresher especially if you're going in summer because your body's gonna definitely need it so disneyland is pretty expensive especially their shops so my recommendation is to go to like the Disneyland, uh, not Disneyland, the Disney stores inside the malls nearest to where you live just because it's a lot cheaper there than it is Disneyland. Online too, that would probably work um, because it is really expensive and actually I know the nearest tar Target to Disneyland um, has keychains and like Dis has like a Disney aisle and has keychains and all that and they look exactly like the ones at the Disneyland stores inside Disneyland and it's only a dollar ninety nine but the keychains at Disneyland are range from like six to like six to twenty dollars so you save a lot of money that so another hack or tip that I would recommend doing is that as soon as you get into the park go to your number one ride that you want to ride and go get a fast pass for that if it doesn't have a fast pass then just go through the line and there's not going to be a line for that since it's you just going into the park there's barely going to be any people so for sure get a fast pass if the ride that you want to ride allows fast passes go straight there get a fast pass it saves you so much time and it's I would totally recommend if you go on a rainy day it will be less crowded just because no one likes to go on rainy days but you can always just bring an umbrella and there's gonna be no lines for any of the rides so it's gonna be like so much better to be honest because when I went it was actually a grad night so all the high schoolers that graduated were there and it was so packed and I had to wait in line for hours and hours just to ride one ride that only lasts like a minute long, you know what I mean? So, I mean, the single rider section line to go on rides are always shorter just because no one really wants to ride by themselves. But honestly, it saves so much time you get to ride it. And so what if you sit next to a stranger? Like, you still can enjoy the ride. So you definitely want to time your meals around the parades. Because once a parade happens, you literally, like, it is so hard to get around places. Because they close off all the streets. And you have to go walk on the sides. And there's it's so crowded, it's not even funny. Like, I thought I was going to have a panic attack. It was so crowded, so many people. So definitely try to plan around the parade so you're not stuck trying to get to places when there's like a lot the later time for the shows like the little shows they do at Disneyland um, are usually emptier so if you really want to see a show and you don't want to have that many people there definitely go at a later time so at Disneyland there's these photographers there and they take pictures of you um, with the characters and stuff so if you just ask them to use your phone they'll totally use your phone like they don't care you can get a picture for free you have when you're going on a ride and there's two lines to go to the right there's a left and there's a right um always choose the left hand line because most people are right-handed so they tend to lean towards the right hand side so if you go to the left hand line it's usually short. so those are all the secrets or hacks or tips that i have for disneyland and I hope you guys go one day. It's definitely a fun experience. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Go follow me on my social media. 
and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!